Sometimes we can measure pressure and the uh, measure flow rate without even having any special equipment. We can set up two pressure gauges and then measure uh, velocity and flow rate from there. Assume that I set up one pressure gauge like that and then it has this hole there. So all the pressure here in the middle, I got both the static head plus the dynamic head. So a static head basically P by gamma dynamic head V squared by 2Z. So all of this uh, pressure, all of this energy will go this way, go this way, go this way, go this way and pressurize this pressure gauge and it will give us that reading. Let's say this is at point 0.1. Now on here, if I have a pressure gauge set up like this, then the flow is going this way. So the velocity here, this pressure gauge, uh, will not be able to sense the velocity because the flow is going this way. So the velocity head V squared by 2Z will not be sensed by this pressure gauge. So the only thing it will have on this is the static head, PS, which is basically uh, P by uh, gamma. So this P2 will only read the, the static pressure. So if I set up the Bernoulli's equation at point 0.1, point 0.2, the entire pressure, the total energy at point 0.1 will be read by this, by this pressure 1, this pressure gauge. And then pressure gauge 2, Number two will do the um, the pressure head uh, P2 plus the velocity head gamma of the fluid gamma of the fluid plus the velocity at point two V square by two z so we can simply solve for V square so that would be two z P1 minus P2 divided by gamma of the fluid. So the velocity will be square root of 2Z P1 minus P2 divided by gamma of the fluid. So now we know the velocity, we can calculate the flow rate like that.